Hey guys, today I wanna to share with you seven important questions you should be asking before becoming someone's critique partner. I'm also going to tell you about a simple and fun way you can find a fabulous critique partner today. So I hope you're excited. If you don't know what a critique partner or a CP is or how to make the most of that CP friendship, I just did a live Q and A all about that. So I will link that below and in the cards if you wanna check that out. But if you're anxious to find not just a critique partner Partner, but a great one, you've come to the right place. You see, today kicks off the official hashtag CP Finder event that me and my Plotter Life Writers Facebook group are hosting. This is where we will have writers use these seven important questions that I'm about to tell you about to share a little about themselves, their work in progress, what they can offer as a CP, and what they're looking for. If this sounds a bit like a dating service, but for writers looking for CPs, you would be that far off and as I explain how this event works I think you'll see what I mean so here's how this works if you aren't already a part of our fabulous writerly community on Facebook I do have that group linked below once you are accepted into the group your step one is to find that CP finder thread which will be marked by this image here and all you'll have to do is copy the seven question survey that will be in that post go to the comment box paste it there insert your answers and then post it as a comment. This will act as your CP profile that other writers can read to see if they would be interested in being your CP and others will post their profile so that you can read theirs. As I just hinted at, step two is to then keep going back to that thread which will be open forever and you can read other writers survey answers and respond to a few writers you think might be a good match for you. Think you found a good match? As long as both of you would like to move forward, your step three is to go on a sort of CP date or a trial run, which basically means you will exchange pages. This can be anywhere from that first page of your work in progress to multiple chapters. Then once each of you have read each other's pages, you will send critiques back to each other. If both of you appreciate each other's writings and critiques, then congrats, you've found your CP. Just keep dialoguing and exchanging pages and critiques. But if one or both of you feel like this isn't the best fit, simply thank them for taking the time to give their critique and explain that you're looking for something else. Here's the disclaimer guys, if that other person is the one telling you that they're looking for something else in a CP, don't get discouraged and don't take it personally. Finding the best fit for both people is hard and you want to be in a CP friendship where that other person is really excited about your story and really excited about being your writing buddy. Be thankful that they were honest from the start and simply jump back into that CP finder thread to try with someone else. Also feel free to be talking to multiple potential CPs at once, maybe two to start. So in that case, if one of them doesn't work out, it will at least probably work out with the second second one, or if both of them work out, you have two CPs and that gives you double the perspective on your story. So what seven important questions are going to be on this survey that we think you should be asking before agreeing to be CPs with someone? Well, here are those seven things along with examples of how I would answer these questions myself. The first thing we want you to share is a short paragraph that encompasses a few of these basics, which includes your name or your pen name, whatever you want to be called by your CP a little bit about your writing experience. So are you published? Is this your first book? Are you agented? Or if you haven't done any of these things yet, it might be helpful to share if you've been a beta reader or if you've been a CP at all before. You also wanna share a little bit about your work in progress. So share the category, the genre, a little bit about the concept, or if you wanna share the pitch, whatever you're most comfortable with, and the status. So where in the writing process are you with your current WIP? Now, I'm not personally looking for for any more CPs at this time. But here's an example of how I would take all of this information and write a simple short paragraph for this basic section. So for me, I would say something like, hi, I'm Brittany. I'm writing a debut YA fantasy series that centers around my world of fairies. I am not agented or previously published yet, but my first draft is finished. I am in revisions. I am hoping to be ready for betas in October and start querying by the end of the year. 
I have been a beta for two of my friends' books so far and love giving feedback and ideas. The next section is to share what you're looking for. So share your upcoming goals concerning your work in progress, what you feel like you would need help with most, and what you're looking for in a critique partner. So again, for me, if I was currently looking for a CP, I would say something like this. I'm looking for a critique partner that loves to gush about what is working in a story and can talk about what should be improved in an honest but kind way. In addition, I'm also looking for someone who enjoys dealing with plots that have many layers, a big cast of characters, and maybe has experience with or is currently writing a series. The third thing you're gonna share is what you can offer. So share what you feel is your strength as a writer and how you can help someone else with their story. So again, for me, I would say I feel like my greatest strength is helping people to rework their plots, plant for shadowing, and strengthen their characters. The fourth thing you wanna share is what you enjoy reading. So share categories or genres you enjoy reading or include some of your favorite books so that others can gauge if their work in progress would be something you'd enjoy reading. For me, I would say I really enjoy reading anything YA fantasy, sci-fi, and dystopian. Some of my favorite books are Graceling, Harry Potter, Children of Blood and Bone, Six of Crows, and To Kill a Kingdom. The fifth thing you want to share is your availability. Share your time zone and how often you'd like to be in communication with your CP or if you have any deadlines you're hoping to meet. For me, I would share that I'm in the EST time zone and could probably chat or give feedback once a week. And my current goal is to have my second draft ready for betas by late October. The sixth thing you wanna share is your preferred form of contact. So you can include your email here for direct contact, or you can invite someone to DM you on Facebook or on another platform to talk more. For me, I would say comment here or shoot me a DM on my Instagram if you're interested, and I would include my handle at author Brittany Wang. Finally, we wrap this up with a fun question. What Myers-Briggs or Hogwarts house are you? Personality is important to consider when picking a CP, so sharing this might help everyone get a sense of who they might get along with best. For me, I would share I'm an INFJ, and when I take Hogwarts house tests, they usually say I'm a cross between a Hufflepuff and a Ravenclaw. Well, that's it, guys. Whether you are jumping into our CP Finder event today, or you're talking to some writers on social media, and you're wondering if those would be good people to be critique partners with, you now have seven very important questions to ask before making the jump. Again, if you want to join this event that's going on right now or don't want to miss any of the other challenges or things we do like our NaNoWriMo cabins in the future, go ahead and click that link in the description below. And if you're wanting even more best practices or tips about finding and making great critique partners, definitely go check out that video from last week, which I'll link as well. If you got a lot out of this video and don't want to miss any more awesome writerly things we do on this channel, please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you've had any past experience with CPs and if you think there are any other important questions we should be adding to this list I'd really love to know that's all I have for you today but stay tuned because I have some really awesome Preptober and NaNoWriMo things coming up soon but until next week happy writing <laughs>